Welcome. My name is Jesse and you are listening to The Wake Up Call. This show is about opening your eyes to how you've been living, bringing awareness to the standard you've been operating at, and helping you start living to your full potential. There are two ways I'll help you do this. One, by disciplining your mind, and two, by strengthening your body. It's time to take stock of your current performance and go to the next level. Let's do this. 105,024. 105,024. That is the number of deaths just today. 105,024 people have died just today. And tomorrow you can expect that number to be about the same. Probably higher by the end of the day. That's what I want to talk to you guys about today. It's about death. And when people hear that, they think, oh, this sounds morbid. This sounds very pessimistic. I don't want to talk about it. Fuck off. But I want to talk about it. I want to talk about mortality and your death. The reason that I do this and I want to do this is because people think that they're going to live forever. People subconsciously believe that they are invincible and they have unlimited time available to them. Most people, they know that time is running out. The amount of years that you have left on this planet is decreasing. The amount of hours, the amount of seconds, the amount of minutes you have left decreases by the day, by the minute. That number keeps going down. You can't stop it, ever. There's no pause button. This is why I get so fucking frustrated when people say, I'll start on Monday. I'll wait till next week. I'll wait till after my birthday. I'll wait till after the public holiday to do something about their health and their fitness and their body. It's because the clock doesn't fucking stop. The death clock does not stop. No matter how much you want it to stop, it fucking doesn't. So I want to ask you, when was the last time you thought about your own death? When was the last time you thought about your own mortality? Because you are no different to the rest of us on this earth. You are not a special fucking snowflake who has more time than the rest of us. You're going to die. I'm going to die. Every single person on this planet is going to die at some point. So that begs the question, why on earth do so many people go through life not living to their full potential? I think there's a few reasons. Like I mentioned earlier, I think some people think they're invincible and they're going to live forever because most people think they have more time than they actually do. But what happens if tomorrow you get hit by a fucking bus? I don't want, I don't wish this to happen upon anybody, but just imagine that tomorrow is your last day. If you reflect back on your life right now, what would you say? What are your thoughts on how you've gone so far? Do you have a lot of regrets on how you've been living, how you've been acting, how you've been behaving, how you've been showing up in the world? Or would you be able to look death in the eye and say, I gave this life everything I had. I couldn't have done anything more. I did everything I wanted to. I became the person I wanted to be. I am proud of what I have achieved in this lifetime. I don't know too many people Actually, I don't know anybody who would be able to say those things. If you've been following the podcast for a while, if you've been following my social media, you know that I read books. And you would also understand that I read one particular book every single day. It is called The Daily Stoic. The reason I'm really intrigued by Stoic philosophy is because one of their tenets, one of the things that they put forward and they reflect on is mortality, is about death. So in Stoic philosophy, there is a phrase, it is called memento mori, or translated in English, remember you must die. So when you start to think about life like that, you will die, it brings what is most important to the top of your thinking. Suddenly, you start to look at how you're living and the actions you're taking, and then 
it hits you in the face like a ton of bricks. Fuck. I'm spending a lot of time doing shit that doesn't matter. I'm saying one thing in my life, but my actions are demonstrating something completely different. How does that make you feel right now? I'll start on Monday. Is a phrase I want to die. I want you to eliminate that from your thinking forever. I recently had somebody comment on my post. Uh, I was doing a Turkish get up and somebody posted a comment saying, that looks cool. I'd love to do that one day, maybe next year. I thought to myself, why the fuck would you wait for next year? We've just gone into October. There's still two months left of the year. You're going to piss away two months and wait for the new year to roll around before you give it a shot. Come on. Are you serious? I'll start on Monday. I'll start after the public holidays. I'll do dry July only in July. If you've got a drinking problem, if you know you drink too much, why on earth would you do it only one month out of the year? That makes no sense to me. Does that make sense to you? Giving anything less than your best is to sacrifice the gift of life. Imagine looking at your peers, your family, your friends, your children, and saying to them, I did 40% today. I operated and I, my output today was 40% of what I'm capable of. And you might hear that and you might think that's bullshit. I always give 100%. I call bullshit back on you. I've seen how hard people work and I've seen how far people can actually push themselves past what they believe they can. And I can guarantee you right now, you have more in the tank to give as well. We all do. Now I'm gonna drop some uh, facts on you just really quickly. The current life expectancy for Australia in 2020 is 83 and a half years. So I have sourced that from macro trends, but think about that, 83 and a half years, that's your life expectancy. Now, this isn't even talking about the quality of these years. This is just years. The quality of these years might be shithouse, but that's the average. Plus or minus, that's the average. How old are you right now? If you're 42 or older, you're past the halfway mark, statistically speaking. How many more years do you have left? <laughs> How many more summers do you have before you hit that 83 and a half year mark. Or maybe, this is just an average by the way. If your health is not where it needs to be, if your physical fitness is not where it needs to be, if your mental health is not where it needs to be, I can just about guarantee you, you don't have 83 and a half years, you have less than that. So you have to start reflecting on how you're living. What's my health like? Am I exercising? Am I looking after my mental health? Am I consistent? You gotta ask yourself as well, are you in your prime? If not, why not? And you cannot use age as, as an excuse. People have done this and will continue to do this, but not you, not the listener of the wake up call. You are fucking smarter than that and I'm gonna explain something to you very quickly. Your chronological age does not determine your biological age. Chronological age is when you were born. So if you were born in 1960, you were born in 1960, you cannot change that. If you were born in 1985, you were born in 1985. You are the number of years that you were born. That is a non-negotiable, you can't change that. But you can change your biological age, how your body feels, functions, and looks. And this comes down to behaviors, actions, decisions, daily choices. And when people hear that, it kind of hits them in the heart and they think, oh, well, fuck, it's on me. Well, yes, it's 100% on you. It is all on you. How you look, feel, and function is nobody else's responsibility but your own. As the saying goes, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. I could sit here and give you the best plan in the world, but if you don't do it, that plan is absolute dog shit. 
So, my friend listening, what is the status of your health? How many, if any at all, how many medical conditions do you have? What's your blood pressure like? What's your cholesterol like? What's your resting pulse? Do you know these numbers? Take a photo of yourself in just your, just your underwear. What do you look like? Do you look like you want to look? Or do you not? And if the answer isn't what you want it to be, again, realize that you are going to die. You might look the way you look for the rest of your life unless you do something to change it. Nothing changes until something moves. So if you don't do anything to actively improve your situation, it's only going to get worse. This might be really hard for you to hear. And this might be giving you a right hand. This might punch you right in the face. If it is, good. That's exactly what I want from this podcast. It's heavy. It's deep. I want you to go deep. I want you to start confronting these thoughts. And I want you to actually take some fucking action and responsibility for your life, for your body, for your health. Not just for you, but everybody around you. Your friends, your family, your co-workers, your colleagues, everybody who looks up to you. How much responsibility for extending your life expectancy are you taking? And I'm not just saying, you know, can we get you to 84 and a half years with those last four and a half years being garbage? I want quality years. Don't know about you. It's not just about extending that number. It's about the quality of those numbers. I don't want 83 and a half shit years out of my body, out of my brain, out of my life. I want the best. And you should want the same. Any, why would you want anything less than your best? Couple quick questions you need to ask yourself. Are you currently lifting weights two to three times per week? If yes, fantastic, keep going. If not, why not? We should know the benefits of these activities. And if you don't, here we go. Most people want to improve their body composition, how they look. There's two ways we do that. One is nutrition, one is physical training. The type of physical training you need to do that is resistance training, lifting weights. That is how you build muscle, that is how you build definition and tone, and it helps you as you age. Metabolism does decline as you age, but it also is due to a loss of muscle mass. If you lose muscle mass, your metabolism declines. If you keep up with your strength training, it doesn't decline as much. And it also prevents us or reduces our risk of osteoporosis, strong bones. So if you fall, you're going to be more resilient at breaking bones. Are you currently performing cardiovascular exercise one to three times per week? If yes, awesome, keep going. If not, why not? Honestly, why aren't you doing it? This For you, it could be a walk. For you, it might mean a 10K. Are you doing these things? Maybe you can't run. Are you doing any rucking? Grab a backpack, put some weights in it, or grab a vest, off you go. Because soon, you'll be 50, and then you'll be dead. Every single person I know talks about how quickly time is going. Yet, we don't make the most of the time that we have. You can't change your chronological age, but you can change your biological age and the quality of the years you have. Guys, the facts are this. People who live an active life move better, feel better, and look better than those who don't. So why are you waiting to be the best version of yourself? What are you waiting for? Are you waiting for somebody to come and tap you on the shoulder and say, hey, it's okay, you can, you can do this now. You can get your shit together. You can stop pressing or trying to press pause on life and you can stop waiting for fucking Monday. Remember, you will die. As of right now, there are now 106,640 deaths. It's increased by that much since I've been talking. 
It's now up to 106,658 deaths and counting. By the second, by the minute, that number goes up and up and up. And one day, your number will be up. Reflect on how you're living and stop bullshitting yourself and start living to your potential. If you loved the Wake Up Call, found it entertaining or got some benefit out of listening, I would appreciate you helping me to spread the word. Please share it with a friend or on social media so that you can pay it forward and give someone else the opportunity to improve themselves like you just have. Thanks for listening. We'll see you soon for another episode.